Good day my fellow Royal fans, today's news. It seems that nobody wants Meghan Markle in the UK, at least according to a Royal author, Angela Levin. She wants to be talked about, to just be herself. She wants all that to be forgotten. She said when referring to the Duchess's apparent disregard for years of Royal drama. You can't trust Harry, you don't know if he's going to sell whatever you say to him to earn a lot of money. Netflix or somebody else, the biographer added about Meghan's husband. The Duke and Duchess's ongoing disputes with the British royals have been seen in an endless cycle of tell-all interviews, documentaries, podcasts and incessant media stories ever since the Megxit kicked off in early 2020. Harry and Meghan's dramatic departure from royal life seemed to define the final two years of Queen Elizabeth II's historic reign which was only accompanied by Prince Andrew's simultaneous scandals in the headlines. After insinuated accusations of racism against the monarchy in the pair's 2021 Oprah Winfrey interview, the royal circus of mudslinging between London and Montecito has not ceased. The royal rebels, Harry and Meghan docuseries and the Duke's memoir Spare accelerated the rift even further. Although the former actress may wish to move on from the royal drama, Many have pegged her as the root source of the issues thanks to her being a careful planner and a plotter. Angela also stated that Meghan is going the other way, going around in gold and going to perhaps get a big part in a film and has a very good new agent. This is in comparison to her husband who is largely dedicating his time to charity work as he did for years as a senior royal. The Duke recently completed a tour of Japan and Singapore where he promoted the pair's charitable organization Archwell. The Duchess was criticized for remaining in California and allegedly living it up while he worked. However, both Montecito royals seem determined to move past the monetized tell-alls that have defined most of their newsworthy headlines for the last three years. Not everyone is convinced it will be that easy for the couple with royal expert Richard Eden saying, the only hope there could be is that Harry and Meghan apologize and say we're really sorry for all the damage we've done and we'd like to make amends. Unless that happens, I can't see any kind of reconciliation. Thank you guys so much for watching today's installment. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.